there's Jono from Oztrack. Just um, he got some oil pumps on the bench. Often one of the most overlooked parts of the engine, but it's also one of the most important. So here we have a brand new uh, oil pump from an L77 motor. So it's just come off a crate motor, brand new. So this is sort of what you expect to see when you buy a new oil pump, whether Mellings or Genuine or whatever. So you'll get a new O-ring, it'll sort of look like that. So this is the same oil pump, brand new, that's just been pulled apart without the gears. And here we have an oil pump off an LS1 that's done around 200,000 kilometers. So you can see the discoloration between a new one and one that's done quite a lot of kilometers. Same as the pickup. So if we move down this way, we have an oil pump that's come out of an L's, uh, L98 motor that's actually had an oil pump failure. Now what happens is right here is your oil pr pressure relief valve. And this valve right here is currently stuck in the open position. So oil will be sucked in here, pumped and pumped here, which should go to the motor. But instead, it's being dumped and circulating around, which will result in a no oil pressure, which will start to chew out your bearings, chew out your cam and do a lot of damage. And the way that works is it's just a piston with a spring and it slides up there and that spring gets a bolt there and that forces it all the way closed and as it builds up oil pressure, it's gonna dump excess pressure and keep opening and closing until it, and just to maintain max pressure that it's desired. And that's decided by that spring. So there's different springs available to sort of give you the desired oil pressure. Now the reason we sell all this is because the customers come in with a blown up motor, which on the surface could have been very easily diagnosed as just a lifter failure. So it's chewed out the cam, chewed out a couple of lifters, but the root cause of what's done a lot of the damage is this oil pump. So had we have just done a cam upgrade or put a new cam in, new lifters and started it up, it would have easily just destroyed all the brand new parts because of that oil pump being the root cause. So as you can see, there's a lot of marks on that. And what happens is the debris can get stuck in there because if you look at a pickup, that's what it sucks your oil through. So you've got a gauze there, which gets some of the big bits, but a lot of the fine metal still gets through. And this here gets unfiltered oil. That's its only defense to keep crap out of here. After it goes through here, it'll normally go to the oil filter, which if you look at this one, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. It's actually got quite a lot of that metal, which has gotten through the oil pump. And that's what can do the damage. So this motor's now got destroyed main bearings, destroyed cam bearings, everything. It's got to have a full rebuild. But yeah, if, you're, if you have lifter noise or any potential issue like that, it's not as simple as just sliding in a new cam. You've got to really do the job properly, pull the sump off, clean it all out, change your oil pump and just try and identify what's gone wrong in your motor first. And it'll save you a world of um, time, money and hassle in the long run.